When COVID-19 hit the world, over 15 million learners in Uganda were sent home. Reports gathered from health facilities indicate that 23,000 teenagers were impregnated in Langosa region in 2020. According to the DHO Kwania Moses Mura, most of these girls end up in the theater due to their age and trauma. You realize that they cannot support themselves. Certain things that they could have done to keep them well so that they are healthy, you realize that sometimes it is not done. They are poor. From the statistics from the district, was indicating that out of 100 or 200 mothers who come to the health centers, out of them, 80% of them were child mothers during lockdown. So it was after that, that indication that I thought it is wise enough for me to engage, call these girls, talk to them, embrace them as a mother. The vice is majorly attributed to poverty, self-awareness, alcoholism, and parents delegating their responsibilities. By June this year, teenage pregnancy rate was at 29% in Kwania district. Both Rachel and Masa Deutsch dropped out of school before they fell into the trap of teenage pregnancy. They are among the over 200 girls enrolled for a tailoring course initiated by the Kwania district woman MP Kenya Woman. After six months, another batch of girls will be recruited to benefit from this killing initiative. Those child mothers within all these sub county we have picked 2020 because, as you can see, it's only the child mothers that we are catering for. But we have boys who are also vulnerable, like the child mothers who are here. So we want to open a vocational school that will cater for all those ones who have not been included in this project. A woman who is requesting for partnerships says her wish is to set up a vocational center to benefit more vulnerable youth. Edi Ulua, UBC News.